Hello everyone, Evan here with Action VFX. Today we're going to go through a brief overview of some of the techniques I use to composite this shot in Nuke using elements and practice footage from Action VFX. This won't be a full step-by-step -step tutorial, but instead I'll be breaking down my project to show you some of the methodologies I've used to composite this shot in Nuke. Action VFX provides high quality digital assets, both 2D and 3D elements, as well as VDBs for all your visual effects needs. They also provide film grade practice footage using the highest quality camera equipment with common scenarios of shots that you would likely find working in a large scale production studio. I highly recommend utilizing this footage if you're trying to break into the visual effects industry or just need plates to practice with and level up your skills. All right, with that being said, let's dive in. All right, so here we are in the shot. Let's take a look at our green screen footage first. This plate is from Action VFX. It's part of the practice footage library. It's a really cool shot of this girl flying through the air in slow motion. So first thing I've done is denoise it and write it out. Then I've time offset it so she's flying through the air when the shot starts. Here's my keying setup, it's just a key light with an out mat. And this out mat here is just cutting out the box that she's sitting on. Then I've added a core mat. This is restoring some of the details from the source footage. Then I've softened it and masked it using a garbage mat. Then I've added some color corrections and green despill. And finally some light wrap that's being driven by our background. So let's take a look at the background. This is just a still image, but I've added some elements to this. So first I've added this nebula asset in the windows here. This nebula is part of the stars and nebulas package from Action VFX. There's a lot of different ones to choose from. This one looks great. Next I've added some energy effects to these rings here. I wanted them to look like they're spinning and having some kind of power surge. So the way I've done that is by taking some noise, masking it, adding a transform, and animating the rotation. Then I've stenciled out some details from the background, added some glow, and plus it over. Then I've added some interactive light here, and that's done by taking the same element, using a Gaussian filter erode, and plussing that over. Then I've added some lightning. This lightning here is also from Action VFX. There's a lot of different assets to choose from in the lightning package. It has all the different angles and timing that you might need. This one's great for this shot because it looks like it's slow motion already so we don't have to retime anything. So I formatted it, transformed it into place, color corrected it, added a glow, and then plus that over. Then I've added some interactive light using that same process from before. Here I've added some sparks on the screen left side. Let's take a look. So this element's great because it has really nice ground interaction. So because the shot's slow motion, I used a chronos node to slow them down, transform them into place, color corrections, glow, and plus on top. And here's our green screen footage on top. Next I've added this shattered glass element. That's being done using a particle system and instance geo. So let's take a look at the scene. So this particle system is being emitted by this card here. 
the geometry was modeled in Nuke. And that's just basically a cube with a noise texture and using an edit geo to model it into this broken glass shape. If we look at the scene, you can see there's a projection of our mat here. And that's just being used to add some depth to the scene so that the particles behind the mat are not visible in our render. So let's take a look. So if we toggle this on and off, you can see what that's doing. Next I've added our explosion element. This element's also from Action VFX. This element worked great because it's also already slow motion, so it worked perfectly for this shot. Looks great. So I've transformed it, scaled it up quite a bit, added some color corrections, and screened that over. Here I'm adding some interactive light. Then I've added a shockwave effect. This is done being masked by a roto shape and some noise. So let's take a look at the alpha. So this is driving that dirt blur. Then I've taken that same noise element and merged it over so it looks like some kind of smoke fog that's following along with the distortion. Finally we have some optics effects. So I've taken our explosion element, done a luma key on it, pre-molted it, blurred it on W, and plus that over. Also added some lens dirt. So this is being masked by the brightest parts of the explosion. Then I've added some chromatic aberration. This is being done by separating out the red, green, and blue channels, offsetting the green, and then plussing them all together. And finally, restoring the green. So there's our shot. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys create with this practice footage library. Please like and subscribe, and if you have any feedback, let us know. Thanks everyone.